Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of the TV show. As always, I'm your host, Wyatt Street, and as you can tell, we have a new guest, like, like we usually do. So today, please welcome to the show, Ryan Sweeney. Hello. Thank you for having me on again. It's thanks, great to be here. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. So, Ryan, uh, let's go ahead and start. Talk about uh, the thing that we always talk about first, Tiger Vision. How did you get your start with us? How did I get my start with Tiger Vision? So I actually missed them at Tiger Prowl, like the big event. Um, I know. And I was looking and I was, I wanted to apply for like the videography job in athletics. And I was like, well, where can I get experience with videography? And then I found Tiger Vision. And I messaged you guys on Facebook and I got a response within 30 seconds from, I think it was Lydia. <laughs> um, and I was like, she was like, cool, there's a meeting like right now, come on by. <laughs> and I was like, oh shoot, I gotta head over to the Hendrix. Um, and then I couldn't find the war room. I was like looking, I was like, is this the war room? And it was like a conference room. And I was like, yeah. no. So I had to like figure my way up to the third floor. Uh, and then I came in and I was helping with uh, behind the scenes. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, you, you've been doing a lot of behind the scenes work. So like, you, you've kind of been doing it all, right? Just kind of like everything back there. Oh yeah, yep. And it, you know Taylor's been a, a great uh, teacher. Scouts also taught me a lot of things with the green screen. And yeah. you know we don't actually paint this. Um, I know it's kind of upsetting. What, what are you talking about, Ryan? We are outside of the football stadium. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Right yeah. now at sun sundown, the same time every day for the show. Magically. Every single okay. day. Yeah, every single time. It's the same time. It, we are precise and on the dot. <laughs> you gotta capture the moment right, right here. If it's not, if it's not accurate, it's not right. You yep. Know? There you go. Yeah. A amen. How, how, hallelujah, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Are you okay? No. Okay. I'm not okay. Yeah, that's understandable. Um, so, you've also uh, got an on screen though a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so like you, you, you've come on a few shows here and there. Could, could you tell us about that? Like what's that been like? Yeah, so um, right after the Super Bowl, I texted Jay and I said, are you guys going to talk about the Super Bowl and after further review? And he said, yeah, we'll talk about it for a little bit. Um, so I was like, well, can I come on? So I went on. Uh, I had a lot of fun with them. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're so knowledgeable about football. <laughs> they only talked about the NFL for a little bit because their show's mainly about college sports. Right. But, uh, you know, I got to say my two cents about the Super Bowl, and then they completely lost me when they went into college football. They were talking about something else that day. I forgot it, whether it was, like, uh, who had to vacate the wins. Um, uh, was it Notre Dame Notre vacated Dame, yeah. the wins? And I'm like, what's going on? That was back, like, in 2000, whenever. You know, I wasn't into football. I was playing with my Barbies, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was not playing with my Barbies. For the record. For the record. Uh, <laughs> and, and you also came on the extra point one time. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, was, that, was, uh, uh, that was an interesting experience, yeah, so I so I, I love working the extra point here. It's one of the best shows to work because you <laughs> never know what's going to be said or uh, yeah. what, what topics are actually going to be put up. They have a script, um, and they write down some stuff, and they come up with like funny hashtags and stuff like that. It's a good time. Uh, it's it's so much fun, but it's a it's very wild as well. You're never actually exactly sure when to speak up or when we're switching topics. Um, but it, it was a lot of fun to come on air with them, uh, and I'll, I'm looking forward to coming on air at some point again. Yeah, we, well. we, we enjoyed having you on that uh, that one time. That was fun. So we'd love to get you back on at some point. Uh, that would be really fun. Uh, but uh, speaking of football, you did play in uh, in high school, correct? I I did play. Um, I was the starting center for the Trinity Catholic Crusaders. Um, I don't know how to say this humbly. I, I was all state in high school. Ooh. I was. Ooh. I, I did not get recruited by Clemson. I want to. I want to make that clear. Uh, actually, never mind. They came after me very aggressively. <laughs> they wanted to me, me to be the starting center, and they were like, "Listen, we'll, we'll give you the football facility. We'll name it the Sweeney Institute of." <laughs> Football learning. Well, I um, mean, because you, you are related to Dabo. Right? I am related to Dabo. Yes, actually, <laughs> I, she uh, Dabo's mom comments on my Instagram, uh, Carol McIntosh, Sweeney McIntosh. Because she got remarried. But uh, yeah, it, it's I met her uh, when <laughs> when I was in uh, Charlotte. Um, because she heard a story about how I took a U-Haul from Clemson to Charlotte because I couldn't rent a car. Yeah. And uh, I ended up meeting her. And she was like, "What's your Instagram?" And I was like, "What? You have an Instagram?" She's like, "Yeah." That's nice. It's kind of funny. It's weird. It's, yeah, I mean, yeah. That's, it's, it's a cool story, though. Cool. Oh, yeah. Cool, 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 cool story, a, bro. It was a very funny. Uh, it, was, it was a fun experience doing that. But. Yeah, and uh, you're from Connecticut. 
which is a long way away. Mm-hmm. Now, how far? How far is that? Like, dry, like approximately? It's about. I think it's about fourteen hours. Uh, can we get that checked in the back, Scout? Okay, Scout's also from Connecticut. Yeah. She said about fourteen hours. So. Oh my god. It's only about two hours by plane, though, from GSP okay. to uh, LaGuardia, so it's not bad at all. Yeah. So, so what was it that brought you all the way down here to Clemson? So, a lot of people are like, "Oh, Clemson was my dream school. I want to come down here." Ever since I was like, "Yay, hi." I don't, I don't exactly have that story. <laughs> um, I was all set to uh, go to Texas A&M, where my older brother uh, goes, who's actually sitting back there. Um, and I applied to Clemson. I don't exactly remember why I applied to Clemson. <laughs> I am glad that I did apply to Clemson, because it came down between Texas A&M, Clemson, and University of South Carolina. And I was all set to put down my enrollment deposit at A&M and become a, uh, a, an Aggie. Uh, and my mom was like, we're, we have like winter break or spring break right now. Why don't we go down and visit South Carolina uh, just to cross them off your list? I was like, sure, why not? You know, I get a yeah. trip to South Carolina out of it. Um, I came down to Clemson and I was like, man, this is a really nice place. Yeah. <laughs> now, now I remember why I applied to Clemson and I ended up putting down my enrollment deposit uh, before even seeing uh, USC. Um, and well, we won't we won't get into that. Um, <laughs> uh, we got. St- Stuck in a ton of traffic going to Columbia. It was like a train that went by for like 45 minutes, which we're not used to in the state of Connecticut. They go by in like half a second, or not half a second, half a minute. Yeah, uh, it's crazy. But um, yeah, and then the, I didn't really like the campus, and it didn't necessarily have what I wanted. So uh, I'm glad that I picked Clemson. I've had a lot of fun here. Uh, I met a lot of great people, like Wyatt, Ms., Mr. Street right here. Yeah. Uh, he works in the Com Lab. Go visit him. Yes. That, that was fun when you came in that one. Oh, that, was, that I didn't was, expect to see you there. Yeah. And I was like, Wyatt. Well, I didn't expect to see you either. You just popped <laughs> in, and I was like, Ryan, what are you doing here? I thought I thought Wyatt lived at Tiger Vision. I'm not going to lie. I, I do. I just see him here, and I'm like, oh, shoot, Wyatt's here. I do, but I do leave from time to time. To like, time to time. To, to do other things with my life. Uh, surprisingly enough, I do have a life outside of Tiger Vision. It's crazy. Um, a lot of people don't believe me when I tell them that, <laughs> but it is it is the truth. Well, he's uh, always in here. He's the <laughs> he's the um. Uh, what what's your job? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm programming, programming director. director. That's yeah. it. I, I was coming up with a word. Um, so Wyatt does all of our glorious programming in the in the weird corner back over. My, uh, my little programming nook. It, yep, and like uh, he does a great job putting up everything. Check out our buffer. It's Fiji water. We're not sponsored, but we're looking for sponsors. We so will anyway. accept them, though. Yes, we we are we are looking. Call the call the number that's not on the, the bottom of your screen. One eight hundred Tiger Vision. Yeah. <laughs> I wish that's, that's not, what, that, that I wish that's so what it was. Cool. We do have a number. I just don't know what it is. I don't know. Last time um, I tried to call, it didn't pick up. So I, well, there's usually not people in here to pick it up. And true. then when the phone does ring and there's people in here, we're like, wait, we have a phone? Yeah, that's true. Um, it's scary. And it's ringing, and we don't know what to do with it. So, Why uh, is but, it getting a text? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But Ryan, uh, what, what is your major again? My major is business management uh, okay. here at Clemson. I'm not a sports comm major like just about everyone else at Tiger Vision, but uh, I add a little bit of diversity to the group. Yeah, you, you, makes makes every, uh, makes the uh, environment a little a little more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so so business management, what do you uh, kind of hope to do uh, with that? Yeah, so um, I've always loved sports. Uh, it's what drew me to Clemson is what drew me to Tiger Vision. Right. You know, we have a lot of sports content as well as other content. Um, and I saw the movie Draft Day. I'm not sure if any of you guys have ever seen it. Uh, it's about the Cleveland Browns, um, you know, and you know, working like the back office of the right. NFL. And one day, I was dead set when I was younger. I was like, I'm playing in the NFL. And then when I realized that I topped out at about five foot eight, I was like, <laughs> I'm not playing in the NFL. I'm gonna work in the back office of the NFL. Right. So I figured business management is a good uh, foundation. I'll be taking some classes in sports com as well. Uh, to try and get you know a little bit more immersed in that world, but yeah. uh, looking at some point to just work in the back office. You know, I've always loved football, so why not keep it a part of my career as well? That's awesome, man. I wish you the best of luck in that. Uh, would you like to take over the general manager position for the Redskins and maybe uh, not do the stupid things Dan Snyder does? Uh, <laughs> no, but I did send in my application to be Tennessee's head coach, so oh, how'd, I'm, how'd I'm hoping that, that pans out. I yeah. uh, haven't gotten a response yet. No. Oh, okay. Um, I mostly interviewed with the dog, though. So. Right. I mean, I feel like the dog's got a lot of pull. The dog's got a lot of pull. I gotta say that he, he has some tough questions. Really? Yeah, he, he's intimidating too. He just looks at you. Mm, that's scary. It's crazy. Dude. I don't like that. All right. Speaking of football, 
What do you say we play a little football related game? <laughs> okay. Yeah? All right. Let's uh, get it out. We got us, uh, those of you who uh, have seen the show before, if you saw the first episode, you may remember Bean Boozled and uh, how poorly that went for our very own Thomas Marshall. I don't know how much better it's going to go for me. Uh, I have faith in you, Ryan. I have oh, faith in thank you. you. Um, so we're going to give this another shot, try, try out Bean Boozled again. This time, uh, instead of Clemson trivia in general, we're going to narrow it down to just Clemson football. Okay? okay. So we each have prepared five multiple choice Clemson football trivia questions. And the way it'll work is we'll take turns posing our questions to one another. If you answer a question incorrectly, then you have to spin the wheel, eat a bean. If you answer correctly, you're, whoever asked the question uh, has to do the same. And we do have a lifeline. One, at one point you can use it, cut the answer choices in half, so you only have two, but there's okay. now two beans on the table for whoever has to eat. This, okay. this will be fun. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, look, I'm I looking forward to this. I wish you the best of luck in I, not getting vomit. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck in not getting it because <laughs> I got it last time, and let me tell you, it is a terrible, terrible time. Mm. So it's my favorite one. Okay. Are you starting off, or am I starting? I'll, I'll start us off. All right. So our first, uh, I'm not gonna look, <laughs> Ryan. It's on. I, I can't even read that. It's on your phone. I can't read either. Um. So our first question is, uh, in what year? Did John Heisman become Clemson football's head coach? Was it 1899, 1900, 1901, or 1902? You're not giving me much wiggle room on uh, on the time frame. I was no. hoping he'd be like 1980, 1763. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, 1899, 1900, 1901. I don't know. 1899 seems like way far away. So I'm going to go with 1900. 1900? That is correct. It was 1900. He was Clemson's head coach from 1900 to 1904. He, he, only, he was only a head coach for that, that yeah, short of time? It was, it was that short of a time, but his, his time he spent here was excellent. Oh, I remember. <laughs> yeah. Oh, back, back in those days. Remember, remember men John. were real men. <laughs> they didn't <laughs> they wear helmets. Football. All right. Uh, you're already doing better than Thomas. Oh, he didn't get one right? No, he got one right, but it wasn't on the first. He got a couple right, but it wasn't on the first. Oh, that's right. Um, well, you were just hammering Thomas. I felt bad at one point because I was working that show. Yeah, it was. I felt bad too. Let me tell you, uh, coconut or spoiled milk. Ooh. This is that's not going to be a fun time. So, here we go. I'm not a fan of coconut, anyways. So that wouldn't really be a win, wouldn't be a lose lose for me. I think it's coconut. You think? Yeah, it's coconut. Okay. It's coconut. <laughs> Not sure. Coconut I kept, I kept waiting for it to, like, because Just some, hit you like a truck? Yeah, because sometimes it, like, starts off fine, and then it, like, bam. Like, I think that, which one is this one? The moldy cheese one is that way, I think. Like, you, you, you kind of, yeah, you, you're like. You, you, you eat it at first, and it's like, okay, this isn't bad, and then mm -hmm. it, like, bam. Hit you like a truck, dude. It, it hit, oh, it's bad. But coconut, yeah. All right. Okay. My, my turn? Yeah, hit me. Okay, in what year, or what year was Dabo's first year as head coach at Clemson? Ooh. 2006, 2008, 2009, 2011. I'm thinking it's either eight or nine. Because six seems like it's too far away. Okay. Um, 11, I know he was the head coach before then. Okay. So it's either eight or nine. Oh, I'm going to go with – I should know this, too. I'm going to be so mad if I get it wrong. I'm going to go with 2008. 2009. Oh, I, I know. I thought it was 2009 – or I thought it was 2008, too. I second-guessed myself. Yeah, what, Dang are you it. Doing? what are you doing? I always do this. I always I, do stuff like this. Um, you're already doing – oh, no. It's, it's chocolate pudding or canned dog food. Canned dog food is bad. I'm just. Why didn't we have a, you guys had a spit cup last time? We just I, did, what, we cut, we got the funding cut for spit cups, dude. Yeah, Gotta Josh was like, mm, we we can't Josh. afford those anymore. So. Eh. Oh. Dog food. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. Eh. Mm. Eh. It's not a good time. Okay. Ugh. God, I need to get you on this. 
Oh, man. All right. When did Clemson football have its first perfect season? Was it 1890, 1895, 1900, or 1906? What was the first one? 1890. We'll go with 1890. It was 1900. Sorry. We went 6 and 0 in John Heisman's first season. They only played 6 games? Yeah, it was weird. Which one? Uh, buttermilk, popcorn, or rotten egg. And I guess that's this one. Does that look right? Yeah, that's Can it. Can I get the official? Yeah, that's it. Pretty sure. Oh. Rotten egg. Ugh. You want to, like, swallow it, but, like, you don't. <laughs> Get a power through it, Ryan. Come on. Oh. It's, like, stuck in my teeth. Ugh. Yeah, that's the worst part. Like, sometimes it gets, like, stuck in there, and it's just, like, doesn't go away. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Man. It's, like, really bad deviled egg. <laughs> okay. All right. I think I'll get over it at some point during therapy. <laughs> uh, which head coach has the most wins? A, Ooh. Danny Ford, B, Frank Howard, C, Heisman, D, Dabo. Most wins. Um, <coughs> I'm going to go with Frank Howard. <coughs> you would be right. Man, it still tastes good. Yes. I hope I get... There we go. Yeah, that works. You got it again. Ryan. I don't want to. You have to. It's the rules. It's the, it's the rules of the game, dude. I it's can't escape It's the rules of the it. game. I don't know. The last one smelled like butter popcorn, and it wasn't. So what's, does that one smell like moldy cheese? No, it's not. It's, it's rotten egg. Or, or rotten egg. I was looking at that one. Sorry. It's that one stuck in my throat, dude. <laughs> Is this the last one of this color? I, I, I hope. Maybe. No, I oh, think there oh, might be a couple more. Oh, oh, Lord, please. There's a few more in there. Butter popcorn. Hey. I couldn't tell for a second. I was like. Yeah. It did the thing. It did it the did thing. thing. There you go. That's how it's done. Exactly. I don't know. I feel like at some point, like, if you get all of them wrong, and you just keep going, you might end up getting more tastiness than untastiness. That's possible. I'm gonna have to consult the people in the stats department. Scout, can you look that up? No. She said no. She said no. Well, that's unfortunate for us. We need a stats person. We do. Okay, go ahead. What's your? What's, All right, do, we need. We'll, we'll check with Josh later to see if there's a budget for a staff person. A, a, if we can't get the spit cup, I don't know how well we're gonna do with the stats assistant. It's worth a shot. Worth a shot. Put it, put it on the notes. We have a notary here too, right? Yep. Okay. No. No. Actually, no. I don't even think that's what a notary does. Okay, what's that's your, what's what your question? Uh, all right, uh, question number three. In what season did Clemson play in its first bowl game? Was it 1921, 1929, 1931, or 1939? Can I get a lifeline? You want to use it now? Can I get a lifeline? Okay. I'm going to cut out 21 and 31. Okay, so now So it's, it's either 29, 29 or 39. 30. And now there's two beans on the table. Two beans on the table? Two beans. That means whoever has to you get You have to eat two beans? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I'm going to go with 1929. I am sorry. It's 1939. Do you have to eat two of the same color? No, no, no. You'll spin it, get a bean, and then spin again. Oh, my God. Uh, that bowl game was the 1940 Cotton Bowl Classic, in which we defeated Boston College by a score of 6 to 3. <sighs> Vivacious game. <laughs> yeah. It was a uh, shout out to Jay Smith. Uh, it was a real slobber knocker. Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, I got caramel corn or moldy cheese. Oh. Is that this one? I think it's. It looks like that one. Yeah, uh, that's the one I believe. Cause. Yeah. Gotta. Yeah, cause th this is the barf one. No, that's the dead fish. That's dead fish. 
We have one that's dead fish. Wait a minute, what's what here? No, this is definitely... Yeah, that's that. Fish. That is that. I'm trying to decide between these two. Which one's which? Hold on. Oh, one's Wait, more no, orange. That is... Yeah, this is the dead fish. That is the peach or bard, right? Okay. I think. Is that... that, is that there, it's for hard future to tell reference, the difference For future reference, them. yeah. Okay, dude. Come on, Jelly Belly, get this together. <laughs> It's definitely not caramel. So is it moldy cheese? I don't know. I guess so. It's not that bad. I mean, it's not as bad as the the rotten egg one was. Not that I like it, but yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Show no fear. <laughs> Stay strong, Ryan. <laughs> There's one called Tutti Frutti? Yeah, Tutti Frutti's great, dude. Uh, uh, that one's on the Juicy Pear or Booger. Mm. So that's that one. Yeah. I'm trying to show you both. Oh. Which one's that one? This one? It, it's, the, it's the, like, darker, like, the more muted green. See, I'm going to go work at Jelly Belly just so I can tell the difference between the bad-tasting ones and the good-tasting ones. So I will win this at one point. <laughs> oh. It will be a very slow play, but I'll come to a nursing <laughs> home and be like, Wyatt, you want to play... Being boozled? I'll be like, sure. What were the options? It's a juicy pear or booger. Yeah, well, it's not a pear. Oh. It means it's booger. Okay. Mm. Is, it, is it a good booger? No. No? No. I'm sorry, right? It was rather awful, <laughs> I might add. <coughs> <coughs> Ugh. Okay, now it's my turn. Yes. To cry again. Um, when did the Clemson Tigers put the rock on top of the hill? A, 1968. B, 1980. C, 1970. D, 1966. I should know this because this was one of the ones that I uh, asked. This is similar to one of the ones I asked Thomas. Wah-ha-ha. But I, I can't remember. I just rewatched your show with that. I can't remember specifically which one it was. I'm, I, mm, I feel like it was either 66 or 68. And the last time I narrowed it down, I second-guessed myself and got it wrong. So I'm going to say... Um, you know, I'm going to use the lifeline. Should I take out the ones you already counted out? <laughs> Oh, never mind. I didn't think about that. We're not going to use the lifeline because uh, I feel like I might waste it. Um, we're not going to use the lifeline. I'm just going to keep one bean on the table, and I'm going to say 68. 66. Oh! All right. That's okay. Um, it's, num, 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 num. it's fine. I'm fine. And Ooh. it's the buttered popcorn. I think I already ate egg. the last one, didn't I? No, this is it. There's quite a few of those. Oh, my bad. I think it's just with the lighting, they look a lot like the coconut. Oh. Sometimes. So. Mm. Can you feel it now, Mr. Kraft? It's buttered popcorn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! You need to experience the rotten egg. Oh, trust me. I have experienced the rotten egg You ever just sit down with a whole tub of bean boozle things and just eat them for fun? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Never mind. No, because I, I am not about that. Because just you mix and match some of the flavors. Be like, mm, dog food, dead fish. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> that sounds like an awful time. <laughs> but I think we're on to an extreme version here. Yes. I like where your head's at, Ryan. Thank you. It's right here. Above your shoulders. We don't have a guillotine here, do we? Unfortunately, no. There's not room in the budget for that. <sighs> Josh. Josh. Can we get Can we get a quote on that, Josh? We need a, We need a, We need a guillotine Scout section. Scout said the yes. Budget. Scout's uh, looking it up on Craigslist. Yes. All right. Uh, I I await the results of this uh, search. Uh, but until then, question number four. Wait. So hold on. Why did you only have to eat one bean? Because then he's a lifeline. Oh. Wait, you gotta eat two beans if you get it wrong with the lifeline? Yeah. That that's the is... point with the that's the thing with the lifeline, it's two beans. That's why you had to eat two beans. Alright then. Yes. I, I will never use a lifeline again. Mainly you because I don't have one. Yeah, you don't have one, so you can't. Well there you go, Wyatt. 
Don't argue with me. What's the next question? <laughs> well, remember how I told you that uh, Clemson's first bowl game is the 1940 Cotton Bowl Classic? No, but okay. That was the last question. Oh, okay. Then y yes, I do yes. remember that. Well, well basically, who was Clemson's head coach for th such a game? Was it uh, Jess Neely, Frank Howard, Danny Ford, or Charlie Pell? I don't think it was Danny Ford because Danny Ford was more recent than that. Um, I don't know what Frank Howard is head coach. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to offend everyone here at Clemson. So what were they? It was Jess Neely, okay. Frank Howard, Danny Ford, and Charlie Pell. I'm going to go with A, Jesse. Jess Neely? Jess Neely. That is correct, sir. It was Jess Neely. Oh I'll my. let you pick. Which one do you want? You want peach or barf or lime? And that is smack on the middle. That is 100% on the I'll middle. I'll tell you what. I'd probably pick the lawn clippings. If you're going to give me the opportunity to pick, I am going with the lawn clippings because I can't lose. The lawn clippings actually aren't bad. Really? The lawn, dude, the lawn, the lawn clippings are actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. All right, then. So is toothpaste. But we're out of the berry blue and toothpaste, so. What? They always skimp on that because they know it's, it's like good. It's like the uh, red raspberry or blue raspberry Jolly Ranchers. There's never enough of those. I think it's lime. Yeah, it's lime. If not, you smell impeccable, like a spring day. Magnifique. All right, my turn? Yes. What son of a legendary college football coach was Clemson's coach in 2000? Uh, a, David Shuba? Shuba. I'm going to go with that. B, Terry Bowden, C, Mike Shula, or D, Tommy Bowden? Bowden. Bowden. My bad. It's Bowden, dude. Come on. I live near Bowden College. So. Well, not near. It's in Maine. So we've got a quote on the guillotine. It's about $68,000 to $82,000. That's in the budget, right? With tabs closing down? Yeah. Well, they're not really I closing down. They're just like... Stopping. It's not stopping so much, it's just like adjusting. Point being, I think we can afford one of those. <laughs> I think we got it. One fundraising trip and we've they got it. They actually this. had one on Craigslist? It's crazy. Ryan, you can find literally anything on Craigslist. See if there's one under Craigslist free. Scout, let's see if there's one under Craigslist free. <laughs> <laughs> they had one in Craigslist Greenville? <laughs> Apparently. That's crazy, dude. Um... I'm going to say it's uh, Tommy Bowden. It's Tommy Bowden. Well, I'm going to say that you are correct. And I'm going to say I will, eat, a, eat a bean. I will enjoy this and just yeah. again. I wasn't sure if yeah, that was. Yeah, you, you, that was not. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't know the regulations. Of that is strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. Okay. Okay, now we need to figure out which one of these is which. Um, I don't know. They're both pretty bad. Whether I get barf or dead fish. I think that. This is like trigonometry. I think that one's the barf one. I think you're right. Because that one looks more like it could be a strawberry smoothie. Strawberry banana smoothie. Because this one doesn't seem to have as many like specks on it, and this one has a lot of specks. This one has a lot of specks. There's a lot of specks. <laughs> Oh. No guillotines on it's Craigslist. Dead fish. Oh, no. Can we get a quote on a spit cup? <laughs> Come oh, on, Ryan. Power through it. I believe in you, sir. <laughs> oh. Can we get a clean up? All right. Actually, no, no, strawberry banana smoothie. <laughs> I'm just really not a fan of strawberry. You're just allergic to bananas. <laughs> oh, man, that was really horrible. Have you ever had that one? I think so. I think I've had all of these before, actually. Oh. Or if not all, then most. All right. It's bad. Which of the following Heisman Trophy winner? Which of the following pairs of Heisman Trophy winners 
Never scored against Clemson. Ooh. Oh, wait, hold on. I asked it. I already asked the question. Well, I'll go again anyways. Wait, wait, wait. You were the last one? Yeah. Oh, then, then it's my turn. We'll edit this part out. Scout, can we get a, can we get a quote on an edit? <laughs> no. I'm no? Sorry. Okay. We'll it's do fine. that in-house, I guess. Yeah. That, that's me. That's, that's me. I do the editing. Dude, you're so cool. Did you learn Premiere from Alex Mueller? No. Oh, never mind then. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube's a great teacher. Uh, okay, so last question, or for me anyway, my last question for you. I'm going to cry. Um, <laughs> Clemson's football team was formed in 1896. In what conference did it first play? Was it the Southern Conference, the ACC, the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Association, or the Appalachian Conference? Oh, my God. I don't think it was the ACC. I'm going to cross that one out. So it's the South Southern Conference, the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, or um, I'm going to cross that other one out because I can't remember it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. That is correct. Clemson was in the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Association from 1896 to 1921. We then joined Southern Conference when it formed. And then in the 50s, when the ACC formed, we joined that. Have you, ever, have you ever seen the banner in the Clemson basketball arena that just says Southern Conference uh, Participants or something like that. Like, we didn't even <laughs> win it. Like, we were just in the Southern Conference playing for something. Yeah. It's like 1926. I'll let you choose. It's dead on the line again. I'll I've already done that. the coconut and spoiled milk one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance at tutti frutti. Is tutti frutti good? Tutti frutti is probably the best. Can I, it's it, tutti frutti is great. Can the I break the rules is, of the game and grab one too and see if I get tutti frutti? Or is that not allowed? You can do it after. Oh, uh, okay. Then it won't count to your bean total. Just keep that in mind, because we've got a running bean counter on the bottom. Oh, yeah, it's right here. It's right, it's right, right yeah. Where is it? It's, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. Right next to the Tiger Vision number call. <laughs> All right, um, so here we go. 2D Fruity or Sneaky Socks. Let's go. It's 2D Fruity. I dislike you. It tastes like bubble gum. Is it more tooty or fruity? A little bit of tooty, a little bit of fruity. Or like the hyphen. Which which ones is more like? Uh, is it I hyphenated? Would say, I don't since I don't quite know what tooty is, I'm gonna say fruity. Okay. <clears throat> which of the following pairs of Heisman Trophy winners never scored against Clemson? Herschel Walker and Archie Griffin. George Rogers and Herschel Walker, Archie Griffin and Barry Sanders, or Barry Sanders and Reggie Bush. I'm gonna lifeline this. Okay. Since I have it and I want to use it. Yeah. And cause chaos. George Rogers and Herschel Walker, or Barry Sanders and Reggie Bush. It's George Rogers one. I knew that one. And I knew it was George Rogers. Me? I used the lifeline because I wanted to put beans on the table. Teacher barf. Oh, no. Cut. Cut, <laughs> Cut the camera. Can we? I don't think we can do that. <laughs> we don't have the budget to do we that. We don't have the budget to cut the camera. Which one is it? This, this like, uh, neon toxic uh, orange yeah, one? Yeah, it's, it's that one, yeah. With any luck, it's the one that you picked up that's definitely peach. I'm not a fan of peach anyways, though. Not oh, no. So this is, this is going to be a problem for you regardless. Oh no. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I just had flashbacks, dude. It was peach. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, it was bar. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that was that was horrific. I hope for your sake the next one is good. It's two. That's right. My lifeline. Oh no. It's chocolate pudding or canned dog food. Okay. 
I'm gonna use some math here, right? So oh my one, god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So like it's half and half, thinking like we didn't eat all the chocolate pudding ones. Yeah. So that means that this one's got to be chocolate pudding. <laughs> <laughs> That's statistics, dude. I'm an intro to business stats. Okay, it's good to see real world applications yep. for this then. Yeah. No, I this this has to be chocolate pudding, and if not, I'm gonna I'm gonna mentally overpower my taste buds. Okay. It's like a superpower. Right. Ready for this? It's chocolate pudding. Hey. Nice. It actually is. I'm not I'm not using yeah, my yeah, superpowers. Yeah. I believe you. How bad is the donkey one? It's it's really bad. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, it's you haven't <laughs> The flashbacks are coming, dude. Throw up. Barf, it is. It's Ooh, dog food was bad. <coughs> so, I would say that was a fun time. It was I a pleasure. This. I right, enjoyed thank, this. Thank you right. for having me on. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Uh, if, if you want to try for your tutti frutti now, now's your chance. It won't count towards your bean total. Two, two Counter's gone. Counter's socks. gone. Ca gone. It's Peace gone. Out. It's already been edited out. I don't know, dude. I want to try it. I'm going to go for a line clipping just because... This this one? Okay. Looks right, right? I got lime again. This is a much stronger lime. That's gotta be tutti frutti. He's like none of them other none of them yeah. look like that. That's a tutti frutti. It's just it just doesn't have as many colorful specks. Uh, it's tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. Tutti frutti does taste good. I told you. It's a lot of fruit. It's like bubble gum. Not a lot of toot. Tutti frutti is great. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on, Ryan. I enjoyed it. Oh, thank you, Wyatt. It's always, a, it's always fun to be on. Uh, well, uh, thank you for watching and tuning in to this episode of the TV show. For Ryan, I'm Wyatt, and we'll see you same time, same place next week with a new guest and new fun to be had.